Hi, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section, we're going to conquer the topic of Avogadro's number and the mole. And I have to say, this is the first section in chemistry where a lot of students, really their eyes glaze over and they're like, what are they talking about? Avogadro's number is a big word. And what we'll see here in a second, it's a very big number and it's kind of mystical and a lot of students don't quite understand why it's important. The second thing is, we've got this thing called a mole. So it doesn't sound like anything to do with chemistry, but it's so incredibly important to the study of chemistry. Uh, but yet it's so kind of, again, mysterious, people don't usually understand in the beginning why it's important. So what I'm going to try to do is break it down into the simplest possible explanation that I can. I'm going to warn you though, some of it you're just going to have to sort of trust me on and trust your book on and trust the scientists before you on because you could dive really deep into the theory of why a mole is really significant. But at the end of the day, it's like, what is it used for? I mean, a long time ago, you were taught multiplication, right? And, and, and you may not have totally understood that it was a shortcut for addition for a long time, but you memorized those multiplication tables and you pretty much trusted the grown-ups that it was really important. And I think now you can see how important multiplication is, right? It's the same thing with the mole and with Avogadro's number. When you first learn it, you're like, where are they coming up with this and why is it important? I don't understand this at all. But then I promise you, a, a couple more months into your study of chemistry or even a couple weeks when we start talking about reactions and predicting what's going to pop out the other end of a reaction, and things of that nature, the mole in Avogadro's number is probably one of the most central things in chemistry. And you will be using these concepts pretty much every section. When you calculate almost anything in chemistry, it will involve a mole of something. So let's dispense with the mystery and try to tell you what this means. Uh, in, in a nutshell, you can read the definitions in your book. In a nutshell, a mole, right, M-O-L-E, a mole of any substance is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd elementary units of that substance, right? One more time, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd elementary units of that substance. So what this is saying is a mole is a huge number of units of a substance, right? Um, and this number, the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, defines what a mole is, how many objects, so to speak, you make up a mole, right? Uh, and Avogadro's number is what this number really is. It's, it's named after the man who discovered it. Uh, Avogadro invented the concept, decided and showed how it was important, so he gets the honor of having it named after him. So those two concepts are really the same thing. If you understand what a mole is, you understand what Avogadro's number is because Avogadro's number is just the number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now in your book, you might find a mole with more decimal places, maybe 6.022 and some other digits times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, that's fine, but when most of your calculations, you can pretty much use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You can even program that number in your calculator so it's handy for all of your calculations. So, Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. And my definition is not going to be lengthy or wordy or anything. It's going to be practical. What this means is, we abbreviate it as N- a. This means number, this means Avogadro. So Avogadro's number, that's why it's called Na. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, this is a big number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, what? What it means is, and I'm going to change colors to write the units, and I'm going to put it in quotes, elementary units per uh, elementary units per mole. So what it is is defining what a mole is. 